Mecklenburg County EMS is making changes to how it responds to emergency calls. Yeah, their hope is to make uh, things safer on the roadways by prioritizing the high risk calls. And believe it or not, this would involve reducing the emergency signals that they use. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre explains the reasoning. Medic is making some structural changes and cutting down how often it uses lights and sirens so they can better respond to their sickest patients, but also make the roadways safer. Medic officials presented their proposed changes to Mecklenburg County Commissioners today and why it's needed. The way the agency operates now, 76% of their calls are responded to as life-threatening emergencies with lights and sirens and first responders. The agency found that about 5% of calls were actually determined to be life-threatening emergencies with the need for lights and sirens. Their data also found that lights and sirens increases the chances for crashes by 50%. So they are changing their response structure. But the most important thing that this does for medic is it helps approve our alignment, as I talked about earlier in a previous slide, and it helps us have better availability of resources to ensure that we are protecting our sickest patients. So the plan is for medic to reduce the use of license sirens in emergency responses from 76% to 19%. Officials say rapid responses to high priority emergencies will not change. Calls will get a response that aligns with how severe the emergency is. So non life threatening emergencies may experience longer wait times. Medic officials plan to launch this next year following a public awareness campaign about the changes in Uptown. Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.